LXL A-Level Maths Mechanics, October 2021, question 1. A particle P moves with constant acceleration 2i minus 3j metres per second squared. At time t equals 0, P is moving with velocity 4i metres per second. For part A, we need to find the velocity of P at time t equals 2 seconds. To do this, we're going to use the fact that velocity, when differentiated, gives us the acceleration. So to go back to the velocity from the acceleration, we're going to need to integrate our acceleration. So we're going to do the integral of 2i minus 3j with respect to t. And to do this, we just treat the 2 and the 3, those multiples of our i and j, as normal numbers and integrate from there. So the integral of the 2 before the i becomes 2t. The integral of the minus 3 becomes minus 3t. And then we've got our c, our constant of integration, at the end. Now to work out what this c is, we're going to use what we've been given, which is that at time t equals 0, v is equal to 4i. So substituting those in, we get that 4i is equal to 0i minus 0j plus c. So c must be equal to 4i, giving us v equals 2ti minus 3tj plus 4i. I'm now just going to bring those i's together. So we get 2t plus 4i minus 3tj. But we need to find the velocity at time t equals 2. So we're going to substitute that in, which gives us 2 times 2 plus 4 for i minus 3 lots of 2j. So a final answer of 8i minus 6j. At time t equals 0, the position vector of p relative to a fixed origin o is i plus j metres. For part b, we need to find the position vector of p relative to o at time t equals 3 seconds. So we've got our SUVAT equation, r is equal to ut plus half at squared. We know to use this because we've been given all our different velocities, we've been given the acceleration, we've been given the time. So this is going to be the easiest way to do this one. We could use a bit more um, calculus to solve this, but this way is definitely going to be a bit easier. So substituting what we know into there, we've got our initial position of i plus j. We're then going to add on the ut plus half at squared of our formula to that. So our initial velocity was 4i times by the time of 3, and plus a half times our initial acceleration of 2i minus 3j times by the time squared, so 3 squared. This is going to give us i plus j plus 12i plus 9 over 2 times 2i minus 3j, which is going to simplify to 22i minus 25 over 2j. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.